previously on Sailing Zatara. We spent more time sailing and exploring the beautiful waters between Turkey and Greece. And we shared with you some of the memories we've made while being a full-time traveling family. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water surrounded by the blue They scream it only During our last few days on the island of Samos, we got a sleek, beautiful new neighbor. The super yacht Adastra, launched in 2012, is a 42.5 meter trimaran. That's nearly 140 feet. She was made in China for a client in Hong Kong and built for serious long range cruising. She has a 4,000 mile fuel range, can travel at a speed of up to 22.5 knots, and is valued at nearly $15 million. With north winds on our starboard beam from about 15 to 20 knots, we should have a steady sail and maybe make it to Mykonos before sunset. We can get out of here on Saturday by noon. I'd rather leave earlier, get your stuff done, and get everything. We could leave, we could leave Sunday morning. We could leave Sunday morning, four or five o'clock in the morning here, and we could make Mykonos Sunday evening. Why don't we just do that? We don't want to get out of here. Yeah, that can be our backup plan if we don't get out of here Saturday. Yeah. Anna, why don't you want to do a night shift yet? Well, I don't, I don't know, it just seems sketchy out here with all the islands and boats and stuff. Yeah. We need to go clean the hall. Go make some money, boy! Ah! I don't want to be an adult yet and have a job. Responsibility. Yeah, I know. Alright, come on. Alright, I'm going. <laughs> and Wi-Fi off our friends from Greece. 
So we and binging. Yeah, we, we just we, we picked out a TV show because we thought it would be fun shit. to watch people hit themselves <laughs> on <laughs> obstacle courses professionally. They do. It's like it's like when you go to a park. You know, when you go to a park as a kid and they've got like you know like the tubes and the tunnels and the monkey bars. That. But on a professional 30-year-old <laughs> level with, like, $50,000 prizes. Exactly. Guys who are totally ripped. They yeah. smash headfirst into a wall. BOOM! <laughs> there you go. Oh! Yeah. oh! 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 Excited to do one it's on this. It's not. Boat. It's not. You get to go back. You get to go out there and check, and then come back here and play your game. No, I'm. You have I'm to not, sit out there know, for three hours. On doing that. You yeah. gotta watch it because there's boats everywhere here. There's boats and there's lots of yeah, islands. Yeah, but Dad won't be able to sleep anyways. He'd stay up the whole time. It'd be like it'd be like our first night shift. I voluntarily got up the first time we did a night shift and sat out there with you guys. I don't know why I did that. I don't think I understood the value <laughs> of sleep back then. <laughs> so are we leaving? Yep. Breaking on the Z News Network, Zitara has left Samos. We are heading west now. This is as far west as we've been, and we are heading to the Atlantic. We'll be in the Canaries by November and uh, heading across the Atlantic. So we are excited. We're on the move. We're on the move westward, and that's what we like to do is journey west. We are motor sailing right now just because the wind's at a really close hauled angle, and we are making about uh, nine knots right now. And uh, just hoping to hold nine knots. That'll be good. Nine knots. Uh, I may pull the. Uh, once we get past Forney, for, for, Forney or Forino or Forno, I may be able to not even motor. I just want to get out there in the middle, close to uh, Mykonos, as soon as possible to get out of the where the main Maltimis blow down through the middle of the Aegean. So it's 12:30, so we are skipping Patmos because I think we can make it all the way to. Uh, Mikos in, in time, and if not, we'll just keep on going to Piraeus tonight and have a 24 hour shift. We'll show up in Piraeus about 1 or 2 o'clock tomorrow, so that'll beat us out of the winds. And the Miltimis that are coming on Monday, they'll start piping up around Sunday night, Monday morning, and we would dang sure want to be out of those, not cutting across the agenda in the Miltimis. And that's what we got for now on the Z News Network. That's it? 
Oh, come on, Anna. Come on, Anna. Oh. You know why Jack's able to do that now? Because he has testosterone coming from his <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Are you even trying? Yeah. No, no, I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> Three, two. You, okay, you're cheating. You have to hold your hand even. Two, go. That's my bad hand! That's my bad hand! Try the other one. Yeah, she's got her wrist. This is. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here, huh? Oh God, this was a bad idea. Yeah, this is not even fair. Okay, here we go. Okay, go. Okay. Jack, do the walking arm. Let Jack use both arms. Let Jack use lock both arms. Lock whatever you want. Lock whatever you want. Do you have a blood you want to use your leg? Yeah. Jackie's two arms. One day I feel the pain coming. <laughs> Make sure we keep a lot of leeway between us and land, these islands and just keep sailing tonight all the way to Perez. That'll be our first night shifts. That will be the first night shifts. sailing out here and we've had several of our subscribers ask us how is the slap or the bang inside the mono and versus the monohull versus the uh, catamaran and our old monohull had a you know if you were going into the wind and the wave you know they all slap and they all bang uh, the monohulls did but this this uh, catamaran you know it, you get a thump every once in a while but it's not nerve shattering it's not what I expected it to be I mean uh, you know, if you're going right into the wind or the wave or kind of diagonally onto the, you know, about 30 degrees off the waves, you might get a little harder slap. But this, this catamaran is designed with a pretty high, um, I don't know what you call that, center board over the water. We, we're way over the water and, and it's really, uh, the, the lines and everything are smooth so the water just kind of runs through there. Whereas a lot of people have boats that are real low to the water, uh, catamarans, and I've heard the some people we know and acquaintances that we know say that it's just a horrible bang and a horrible bashing. So I don't know if you just heard that one, there's a little thump out there. We've got 20, 22 knots of wind on the beam and wave on the beam. Of course, the waves aren't very big. Uh, half a meter waves at max, short, short periods between them. But yeah, I, I'd rather take a little of this thumping. It's more of a thump than it is a bang on our catamaran. And I'd rather have that any day over the healing and the, and the, uh, the monohull situation. Pleasure. Once again, our, our boat is really high off the water, higher off the water than a lot of catamarans. And if you were going to get an ocean bat, there was another one of those stumps. If you were going to get an ocean uh, ocean making catamaran, I'd get one that wasn't very low because the lower ones make lots of noise. I hear, and that's what acquaintances and people we know have said. can do it. There you go. Woo! I got it. Are you ready? <laughs> there you go. Can go up? Oh, wow. He did that. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah? There you go. So, 
what's the plan? I guess we're going to go all night and get yeah. into uh, Piraeus in the morning. They are? Yeah. All right. Sounds exciting. What yeah. time is it right now? It's like almost five, so we've been... Hey, hey you You're on camera. Yeah. Talk so to it's uh, 1635 right now, 430. Uh, we're having a motor cell right now until we get past this cape. But once we get past it, uh, uh, we should pick up the winds out in the middle of the Aegean and pick back up to 9 or 10 knots. But that's still not going to put us in Mykonos to the dark since we've had the motor for the last hour and a half, two hours. So we'll just go ahead and, and then we'd still have 100 miles left to get from Mykonos to... Uh, Piraeus. Piraeus, which is in good good sailing conditions. That'd be a 10 or 12 hour day, so that put us there 5 or 6 tomorrow evening. So it's just better just to suck it up and yeah. get her done tonight and then uh, be sitting there in the morning. I can sleep tomorrow. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Yes, sir. Back at you. Nipply? Yeah, and no, I'm just kind of cold. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hey. Well, that's gonna suck if we get rain on our night shift, huh, Jack? Yeah, we can just close this. We can close this. Uh, what are you doing? Are you trying to be a filmmaker? Come You're on. too wiggly. What? I'm just gonna run up there for a second. Not running. Oh, no, it's, it's too slippery. Trampoline. No, it's nighttime, honey. No. It's not night. It is, Kate. Right there. No, ma'am. Sun is not seeable. No. How about when the sun isn't seeable? No, Kate. No, listen, it's a rule. Kate. Sid! <laughs> I got that again. Oh my god. No, ma'am. Get back the here. When it's left of white, you turn around and come find okay. it. And by that time, be gone. No. All I wanna do. Disobedient Whoa, children. It's a lot of wind. I probably should have paid more attention. The reefing line, apparently. Should have replaced them, but I didn't. Well, that was an interesting night. Oh. 